Keep a close eye on your pets. Police in a local town are sounding the alarm after a coyote attacked a dog with more sightings around the neighborhood. A vandal breaks into a Philadelphia church not once, not twice, but three times. Now police hope this video will help stop the man from doing it again. 100 days and counting. The Olympics are coming up fast. We'll have a preview of the preparations in Paris. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hi, everyone. I'm NBC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm NBC 10's Aaron Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with police searching for a church vandal in Germantown. Take a look at the new surveillance video. Investigators say this man broke into Germantown Church of the Brethren three times in the last month. Break-in started on March 19th. The last one was about a week ago. Church leaders say the man threw a stone through a window to get inside. And there's a warning for pet owners this morning. This is a scary one. Yeah. Authorities in Delaware County, they want you to be on the lookout after a woman's dog was snatched away by a coyote. Yes. In the last couple of days, police say they've been alerted to several coyote sightings in the area. Take a look. The dog was snatched last Thursday in the backyard of a home in Broomall. Broomall is part of Marple Township. Marble Township is now partnering with other local departments to catch that coyote. They've set up traps, but they're asking neighbors to be extra vigilant, especially with children and small pets. You just don't, that's not something that you think about, right? No, in this not area. at all. Yeah, and they're everywhere too. It's yeah. like. Especially not them catching a, catching small a small dogs. dog. Yeah. Hey, black bears are starting to emerge from their dens this spring. So in New Jersey, there's a new push to reduce the chance of encounters with bears. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection launching a pilot project to give nearly 3,000 bear-resistant trash bins to homeowners. Bears have a strong sense of smell and are constantly searching for food, so the trash bins will keep them from associating a property with food. They'll be distributed in six municipalities where there have been a high amount of bear sightings. You don't have a bear-resistant bin. Officials still recommend you secure your trash and eliminate sources of food. And in case you do encounter a bear, they should stay calm, never run, avoid direct eye contact, and make loud noises to scare the bear away. They said to get real big is what they say. Isn't that crazy? For black bear, at least. Black bear. They say a brown bear is a whole different story. Really? Oh, yeah. Brown bear is no good. I don't think any of those things work. But stay calm. Yeah, good it's luck. Hard, hard to do. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Hope, uh, hope there's no cubs around and it's not mama bear. Oh my goodness. You know? Yeah, that's 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 not good. All right, time to shine. The Sixers tip off in the play-in tournament tonight against a familiar foe, but will Joel Embiid take the court? Yep, we're back in 30 seconds to tell you. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. The Sixers are expected to have Joel Embiid ready to go in their play-in game against the Miami Heat tonight. Embiid set out Sunday's regular season finale, but all signs point to the big man being available for the team's biggest game yet. The winner claims the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Tip-off at the Wells Fargo Center set for 7 o'clock tonight. Hey, speaking of the Wells Fargo Center, the Flyers and Penn Medicine, mm. they're teaming up to give back to the community. The team donated more than 11,000 pounds of food with this toss right here from Gritty, <laughs> it's through the Penn Medicine Assist Program. All benefits fill abundance. This was a season-long campaign. The Flyers donated 30 pounds of food for each assist the team records this season. Always good to see uh, effort. Gritty out there, too. I know, right? You know, helping out in, in, in whatever way he can. <laughs> yeah, with the assist right here. There you go. Basically, right? To Delaware now, you might be hearing some uh, new grooves in downtown Lewis. A new ordinance will let restaurants and breweries apply for a permit to play soft, ambient music on their outdoor patios and decks. City Council just approved a three-year trial run on this. It could vote to extend it afterward. Officials hope it boosts business in the area. The idea, though, getting some uh, mixed reviews. I don't really understand why we need outside music. Um... Frankly, I'm kind of annoyed by inside music sometimes <laughs> if it gets too loud. Depending on what time, type of music that they choose, you know, but I think elevator music kind of stuff, absolutely. I think it would be an asset.
See, I hear elevator music and I go, oh, no, no, no. Go uh, to sleep. Elevator, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and or I don't think that's what they're talking about. No, no, Soft, no. ambient music. Uh, right. There are a couple <laughs> of rules here. Music can only be played between 11.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. It also can't be louder than 65 decibels, which is about as loud as a normal mm -hmm. conversation. That's good. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's a big day. We are officially 100 days away from the start of the Summer Olympic Games in Paris. The world's biggest athletes, they are preparing to represent their country on a global stage. The Olympics will bring together 10,000 athletes from 206 countries. Venues in Paris, but also in other parts of France and Tahiti are getting ready to welcome the sporting event. NBC and Peacock will air unprecedented Olympic coverage. There will be a daytime NBC broadcast, live swimming, gymnastics, and track and field finals, plus every sport and event streamed live on Peacock. I'm excited. I know, right? It's, the backdrop to these games, too, yes. is spectacular beautiful. when it comes to Paris, Absolutely right? Absolutely beautiful. The, uh, oh, Barbie, of course, going from the big screen to the doctor's office. Researchers at the University of Michigan studied using the doll's movable joints to show patients about their bodies. The doctor at the center of the study found that the dolls were especially helpful during telehealth visits to show patients about moving and flexing their joints. While she used a Barbie in the study, the doctor says other dolls and action figures with movable parts will also work well as visual aids. It's a great idea. It is a great idea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't been thought of <laughs> know, sooner. Seriously. Yeah. Right? Uh, hey, turns out there's no exact science about how often dogs should be bathed. Yeah, vets say it depends on your dog's breed and how active they are. Dogs with oily skin like basset hounds, cocker spaniels, they may need to be bathed more than uh, once every three months. If your dog frequently goes to the dog park, rolls around in dirt, yeah, that's obvious, right? You may need to bathe them once a week. If your pup is more of a lap dog, they may not need to be shampooed so often. I've actually heard of you can't. You shouldn't do it too often yeah, with a dog. Yeah, because they do need some natural oils yeah, right? in their skin. Exactly. My rule of thumb, when, when you start to smell. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's over. Get in the shower. Exactly. <laughs> Get the hose. Get, <laughs> Get clean. Makes it nice and easy. Um, right up your alley here. Crocs and Pringles combining fashion and flavor. The brands are teaming up for a limited edition drop, including boots, clogs, classic slides, and charms. <laughs> The boots even sport a custom holder to carry your chip container. Oh, my goodness. There's also a Croc-inspired new Pringles flavor called croc Tail Party. <laughs> well, that's a cute name, but see if you like the uh, flavor. Watermelon Chili Lime. Oh, I don't know about that. But again, chili showing up in another product, right? We yes, we were talking, talking about, about this like yesterday. Spicy things. Spicy yeah. lemonade from Starbucks, right? Something yeah, but like that's that? like fruit. Watermelon Chili Lime I know, Pringle. I know, I know. I think we're missing the mark on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Also, the uh, the Pringles holder on your shoe. I don't think you should be carrying food in your shoe. Just saying. You put a lid on you know? it. She didn't have a lid on it. I know. You don't like that? I still don't like it, no. Maybe if you're like, you know, you never know oh, when you get like that urge. Skinny pants, it's, you're going to come that around. Urge, just be like, just <laughs> pop the top, get yourself a couple Pringles. Look like I'm wearing spurs, you know what I, I mean? Know. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> From Pringles to breakfast yeah. items. You might have enjoyed a bagel with breakfast this morning. Yeah, a new survey looks at how popular they are. According to Betway, the average person in New Jersey eats 82 bagels per year, and 29% of those surveyed admitted they enjoy as many as three bagels a week. Take a look at the most popular bagels nationwide, too. It's split pretty closely between cinnamon raisin, blueberry, and plain. And our favorite is not in the Didn't top three. Didn't even make the, the, the top three. I know. Everything bagels. Yeah. Who doesn't like everything bagels? We're, on the, same, everything. we're on the same page with that. Yep, we are. Which and is rare. everything bagel. I like lox and cream cheese. Uh, yeah, just cream cheese no. for me. No, no. lox. Hold no. the lox. Hold, I know. hold the locks. Uh, but I'm adventurous, too. And, and mm -hmm. Bill Henley, earlier this morning uh, on NBC10 News Today from 4 to 7 a.m., um, he was talking about... His favorite is a bialy, right, right. which is not quite the same thing as a bagel, but like very close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And bagel shops have them. Yep, yep. And Sheila Watko liked the number one there. What was the number one again? Sheila, what was Cinnamon that? raisin. Cinnamon raisin, of course. Cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon raisin. Raisin, raisin and um, then blueberry. I'll yep. have a blueberry too. I'll have a blueberry over a plain yeah. or a cinnamon raisin. That's my least They'll favorite. They'll take sesame seed next. There may maybe like a salted bagel. Onion, onion. That. Onion, onion's great. Onion. Yeah, never mind. Onion's number two. Onion, yeah. There you go. All right, so there you have what it. Do you you think? know exactly what we uh, <laughs> we like to eat for breakfast. That does it for today's edition of the lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Keith Jones. Remember, you can get NBC 10 News updates right here on the NBC 10 app. Catch us weekday mornings, by the way, from 4 to 7 a.m. And listen to the podcast. Yes. Wherever you listen to your podcasts. Have a great day. Bye, guys.